Kami dengan bangga mempersembahkan untuk Anda Sahabat Keabadian Temuan khusus bersama Maha Guru Qinghai Dan para seniman yang berharga Bagian 8 So my name is Lisa Bloom, and I own and run one of the largest civil rights law firms in the U.S., which is called the Bloom Firm. Wow. And we represent victims of discrimination, harassment, and abuse. I won a big trial this year for a sexual harassment victim, $11 million, which was groundbreaking. Wow. Most of our work is for everyday people, assistants, janitors, housekeepers, secretaries, And we are very proud to deliver justice to them. I'm able to do this because in the United States, and especially California, we have very strong laws requiring that people be treated with dignity and respect. We don't have to go around one by one and ask employers and companies to please not harass or discriminate against people. They don't have a choice about it because it's the law. As a longtime vegan, I've wanted to do similar work, fighting in court to protect animals. Every now and then, my human clients have let me down, but I know that when I fight for animals, all of those clients are innocent. Yeah. So. I especially wanted to litigate for the billions of farmed animals who are confined, tortured, neglected, and abused, which is why I'm vegan. Any vegans here today? All of us. <laughs> All of us. Special love to you. What But I, I discovered that the laws were just not there for me to use to protect animals. So we can go around and try to convince people one by one to go vegan, and I think we should, but that is awfully slow work. And sometimes human beings backslide. What we need are laws. Laws to protect animals. Laws to require human beings to treat them with dignity and respect, just as we are required to treat each other that way. Right. And so... Whoa. And so I have joined with a group in California, and I want to tell you about some amazing results that we have gotten. So the group is called Social Compassion and Legislation, SCIL. Of course, it's all run by women because women run the animal rights movement. <laughs> and here are some of the things that we've gotten done. Mostly, by the way, other people deserve the credit for this, not me. I've only had a small part. But here's what we have been able to do. Starting in just two months, cosmetics that were tested on animals are banned in the state of California. Wow. You're so humble. You're doing the And best. And we are the first state in America to have this very strong law. Now, California all by itself is the fifth largest economy in the world. And wow. we were up against some of the biggest companies in the world, the cosmetics companies. Wow. But many cosmetics companies also joined us in this fight, those who were already not testing on animals. And here's what we've discovered. Of course, the cosmetics companies don't want to have one set of products for California that are not tested on animals and another set for the rest of the world. So many of them said in response to this law, We're just going to stop testing on animals, period. <laughs> Now, if you had told me five years ago, we're going to pass a law banning cosmetics tested on animals, I would have told you, you're crazy. But we did it. We did it in California, wow. and let's do it all over the world. Wow. Wow, thank you. In the names of here's the what, animals. Here's what else we have done. We have banned pet store sales of animals that are bred in puppy mills or other kind of mills. Wow. This will save hundreds of thousands of animals every year from living in the terrible conditions of those mills and which contributed to the overpopulation problem. They can only now in California sell animals that were rescued or uh, come from animal shelters. I have two 
beautiful rescue dogs at home. Anybody here have any rescue or adopted animals? Aren't they the best? Aren't they the best? Who rescued who, right? Did yeah. we rescue them or did it's they true. rescue us? It's true. Rescues will thank you and they will love you for the rest of their lives. Mark Twain said, if you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. Yeah. This is the principal difference between a dog and a man. We have also passed a law in California banning trapping animals for fur. Wow. So in California, we have a lot of wild animals. We have bobcats and mountain lions and bears and coyotes. Don't you agree that their fur belongs on them and not on us? I agree, yeah, 100%. And my city, Los Angeles, has gone even further banning the sale of fur anywhere within the city of Los Angeles. Wow. Yes. Woo. And here's the last one that I think is probably the most important. We have passed a law requiring that in public buildings, including hospitals and prisons, there must always be a vegan option at every meal. Wow. Nursing homes, mental facilities. I think that's very important because it normalizes plant-based eating and it gives people who aren't used to it the chance to try it out and discover how delicious and healthy vegan food is. This is a hugely positive development. And you know what we want to do next? Let's require vegan options in schools. Yeah. You know, children have a natural connection with animals. Children love animals. That's why we see them so much in children's movies and children's books. It's true. Right? Any children here who love animals, who just want to hold them and cuddle them and find them sweet and adorable, let's not break that beautiful, compassionate connection. There are many children who are vegetarian and vegan. And some of our great climate activists, like Greta Thunberg, is vegan. Yes. And she understands the connection between climate crisis and animal agriculture. And so she is vegan. And so let's support all of our children when they want to go vegan by requiring vegan options in schools. I think we're going to get that law passed next. Yeah. And so... As I said, I would never have believed we could have done some of this in the I world's <laughs> fifth biggest economy, but we have. We have to continue to think big. As my beloved friend Jane Velez Mitchell said, we have seven years left on climate crisis to turn this around. And we have to get as many people veganized as possible. We have to stop the dairy and the meat industry. The biggest thing that I can think of in the U.S. and around the world is to stop the meat and dairy subsidies, the billions of dollars right. of my tax money and everybody else's that's supporting the meat and dairy industry, right. that's causing so many Americans to have cancer and diabetes yeah. and heart disease, and that's supporting the cruelty yeah. of all of these animals, and that's contributing to climate change, not climate change, climate crisis. If right. we can end those subsidies and instead subsidize the vegetable growers and the fruit growers and the soy and bean and legume growers, we can turn this around. So yeah, right. please, I ask each of you, wherever you come from and all of your beautiful costumes and dresses and clothes that you're wearing today, which I love so much, please take this message home. Use your voice to speak up for the animals. Never be silent. Think about what laws you can pass back home. If we can do this in California, you can do this back where you live. The laws are getting passed, that we are getting passed, I hope will inspire you to fight for big changes all over the planet. Thank you. You know who else inspires me? My husband, Braden Pollock, who's oh. here today the cutest vegan guy around and who veganizes everybody he knows somehow because Please he just talks straight from his heart and he talks sense into people. Wow. And I love him and I'm so glad that he's oh, here with me. So proud of him. I also him. just want to thank all the people who don't get thanked very much. And that is all of the volunteers 
all of the organizers, all of the people who are operating the cameras and who are serving us and who are working very hard behind the scenes. Would you all please just stand up for a moment and wave and be acknowledged? Because without you, we could not have this event. Yeah, God bless I you. Thank you. You are so important and we appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you to all of you. We have more. All of their children are vegan also, of course, but we did not bring him here today. That is amazing. And Supreme Master, I am so honored to be invited oh, and to be here. Cry. And I want to thank you for all of the work that you do every day to spread this positive message all over the world, to protect the animals and the planet, and to encourage everybody to go plant-based. You know, we need more positivity in the United States, and we recognize your example of positivity and love. The way that you reach out to people, the way that you inspire us, I hope I can take that home and extend that as well. Thank you so much. Please take You're so lucky uh, to have each other. Thank you. You're beautiful as well. Beautiful couple. My God, you're wonderful. I cannot thank you. Compassionate, as loving, as beautiful. Thank you. And your husband also. Thank you. Bless, I appreciate that. Bless you. He's pretty cute. <laughs> beautiful, yes, he is. <laughs> My God, you've done so much. It's amazing. Thank you for doing everything. You should run for president. Yes. The yes. way she talks. The way you talk, you should run for president. And your husband, vice. <laughs> Together. I'll be first husband. Oh, first husband, yeah. And vice president, no, no one. First husband is cooler, yeah. Don't have a lot of work, but supporting behind. Oh, we're going to have some program now. It's good. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, really. God bless you so much. Many thanks for the eye-opening speech. Let's have another round of applause for Lisa Bloom. Yeah, continue blooming. Continue blooming in your love. Thank you. God must have sent you here. Yeah. So strong, powerful, and beautiful. So a lot of people will listen to you. Bill Cunliffe is a Grammy Award winning composer and arranger, as well as an international award winning jazz pianist, who has graced our association's concerts in the past with his magnificent music. We're so honored to enjoy his performance once again. Let's welcome Bill Cunliffe. Wow! <laughs> Surprise! Wow! Thank you very much. It's such a pleasure to be here, surrounded by so much love and, and caring. And uh, I'm going to play a couple of songs about love. The first one from the Great American Songbook, uh, a great old song by Julie Steinen called Just In Time. Wow. You came just in time. <laughs>
Thank you. I've been lucky enough to write a few songs based on Supreme Master Ching Hai's lyrics. And so I thought I would share a few of them without the lyrics because you don't want to hear me sing. So um, uh, the first song is called If, and the second one is To Be Able to Love You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pemirsa yang cerah, kami menghargai kebersamaan Anda hari ini untuk sahabat keabadian, pertemuan istimewa bersama Maha Guru Qinghai dan para seniman yang berharga. Bagian 8.